The Great White Shark is the result of millions of years of evolution. Its medium to large build has helped it become one of the apex predators of the ocean, but this doesn't mean that it's immune to attacks. For 10 years there was a Great White Shark mystery that baffled many researchers. A 9 foot Great White Shark was eaten whole by another creature. According to Australian scientists, the 3 metre or 9 foot Great White Shark had been tagged, but researchers were confused after the tag had washed up on a beach 2.5 miles away from where it was attached. This is something that doesn't normally happen, so the scientists checked the data from the tag, and it was here that the mystery deepened. The information revealed to the scientists that the device suddenly dropped in depth to around 580 metres, or 1,900 feet, with the researchers also noting that there was a temperature increase from 46 degrees Fahrenheit, or 8 degrees Celsius, to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, or 25.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature then remained at its highest temperature for eight days. Dave Riggs, who worked closely alongside researchers and who filmed a documentary about the incident, revealed that he and the team were surprised by the discovery saying the following When I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. The question that not only came to my mind but everyone's mind who was involved was what did that? It was obviously eaten. End quote. The issue came when researchers suggested that the nine foot great white shark was eaten whole with the team saying that a colossal great white shark was the likely culprit. The team even suggested that it may have been taken down by a great white shark that had grown to supersized proportions, after suffering from gigantism. The researchers said they came to this conclusion after studying the data, saying that the smaller great white shark was likely eaten whole. However, this hasn't gone down well with some people, with them saying that a 15 foot great white shark has never been observed in the wild eating a 9 foot great white shark. This could have been one of the reasons behind why the team suggested that an even larger great white shark was involved. Very rarely have great white sharks been seen attacking their own. When this does happen it's usually an accident, or is done by mistake. For example, back in 2019, the great white shark was allegedly seen attacking another, but what actually happened was a team had put out a piece of bait attached to a rope, and when two great whites came in to attack it, the team moved the bait out of the way, which in turn caused one of the sharks to accidentally bite the other, and as soon as it done this, it let go, with both sharks swimming away. Those who have read the story suggested that the shark who ate the smaller shark was actually much bigger, pointing that one of the most well-known great white sharks known as Deep Blue is thought to be over 21 feet in length, and Australians commented on the post saying that great whites over 25 feet exist. So there's a chance that one of these big sharks took out the smaller great white. Many questions still remain though. Was the shark eaten whole as the researchers said, or was the tag just bitten off? Is it likely that a 16 foot shark would be able to eat a 9 foot shark? One person said what many were thinking. Wouldn't it have to be a lot bigger than 16 feet for a 9 foot shark to fit wholly in its digestive system? I think that a shark over 20 feet would be able to do this, but 9 feet is still pretty big. Whatever ate this shark whole must have been massive. End quote. Also known as the largest predatory fish on the planet, they boast an average length of 15 feet and can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. With a torpedo shaped body whose tail sends them speeding through the waters, they can latch onto their prey with 300 serrated and triangular teeth. However, they may not be the all fearsome predators you think they are. In fact, evidence suggests that they could even be prey to some larger sea creatures. That's exactly what a newly released study proves, as scientists believe that somewhere out there in the large Pacific Ocean, there's great white sharks that are being attacked by massive squids. So how do scientists know this? 
They know this because the large scars and sucker marks that are found on great white sharks. Although this may sound like a movie, there's documented research that such encounters have occurred. They mostly take place near Baja, California. In the examination of 14 great white sharks during a span of five years, most of them developed unique scars on their head before they reached adulthood. Such wounds suggest that a squid tried to defend itself from the shark. Because of their proximity to the volcanic island, which is known for being a feeding site for most apex predators, Encounters between sharks and cephalopods are not unique. However, there are not too many documented interactions between great whites and larger squids, which makes these findings especially mysterious. It's definitely not impossible either. In the region of great white shark territory, there are several squid hotspots with a huge variety, ranging from foot-long neon flying squids to giant squids that can grow to a huge length of 46 feet. This sheds plenty of light upon the fact that squids play a big role for adult great whites. Or see even call it as the depths that these fights take place. Not only are they deep, but they also take place in the twilight zone, which is the layer of water that even sunlight cannot penetrate at around 650 and 3,300 feet deep. In the end, the scientists have said that the squids are most likely causing these scars. However, they do believe that the culprits are likely the jumbo squid, the neon flying squid and the giant squid. No matter what, one thing is for sure that these marks are certainly indicative of an extremely aggressive encounter between predator and prey. If the squid is strong enough, then the suction power of their arms and tentacles can deform the shark's dermal denticles and cause open wounds. It seems that the great white shark may have met his match. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.